Well, the mercenaries at Golden Glow Estate have all been dispatched. My new powers. I feel like there's nothing I can't do. All right, now. Let me see about having some regular food. Hey, wait a minute. The cobwebs are gone. And there's a kitchen. And there is food on the table. And the fireplace. I own a... You have cleaned this place up. Look at this. There's not a cobweb in sight. Well, you know, that tells me a lot. A little fear and intimidation can go a long way. <laughs> Let's see what we've got downstairs. Oh, is this a, is this like a guest room? All right, alchemy station. Oh, and look, an enchanting station. Mannequins. Wow, she really outdid herself. Enchanter's Primer. All right, an enchanting insight. I don't think I need these anymore. I think, I believe my enchanting is maximized. So a grindstone, but there's nothing. Um... No other smithing tools. Oh well, you can't have it all. Well, all right, Iona. Good job. I'll allow you to live. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Let me see about getting some more Thieves Guild assignments and training. I have a heist in mind and I need my thievery skills to be at their peak. Tell your boss that rough is rough. I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. I could push you right up. Are you serious? Delvin? How dare you? I like the way they are. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Um, pretty much, yes. I'm just a beggar off the street, and um, now I'm probably one of the most accomplished thieves that Rifton has ever seen. And you know why that is, Delvin? It's because of the powers that I possess. So, I suppose, however, that I could use more advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Well, good. But what do you mean about back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. Yes, a I few heard the decades arguing. ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Really? Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. I think I did. But what's happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is. But it's beyond just Sir, you and me. You We've been like cursed. Had... Yeah, threw it in the lake. Hmm, like you said. No curse. What can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. Take we spit easy, in that curse's face and turn things yeah, around down here. Put things the back same. the way they were. That's where you come in. 
Excuse us. We've got plenty of work excuse us. Could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. All right. So, while I have you, I found this Queen Bee statue in the Golden Glow Estates. Would you be interested in it? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. I'm sure you If you, you happen were. to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. There you go. This should cover it. I'm sure you weren't even thinking about this statue until I mentioned it. Don't think you can fool me. So, can you train me to sneak? You've already learned all I can teach you. Tanelia, really? I'm trying to talk to Delvin. I tell you, the, the rudeness down here. You all are all rude. Thank you. All right, um, so what, uh, you're offering extra work? I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Right, well, tell me about the numbers jobs. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? Um, well, I don't think I quite understand what I'm doing, but I'll do it. Just remember the rules. Keep it clean and keep it quiet. Here's the details. Oh, you're back. Silver blood in Markov. So, yes. I'm sure those mercenaries are... Pull up a seat. Have a quite drink. humiliated the fact that they were beaten by a beggar. <laughs> I would say a homeless beggar, but I've recently purchased one. Brynjolf? You should talk with Delvin and Vex. I just did. You. Yes? You're the only one that can see through my disguise. So, I understand that you know how to change a person's appearance. This is true, but my techniques only work on the living. Shh, You've shh, chosen a different shh. path to remake yourself. Shh. All right. Enough of that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, can't go that way. Tanelia, you look like you've gotten yourself stuck. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. Well, good. Um, I don't think I have anything to sell, but what would I you give I give special me? rates to members of the Thieves' Guild. Show me what you've got. No, well, maybe I do have things to sell. Um... Of this ebony dagger. Wait, I just bought that from you. Boy, anyway, how about these clothes? Uh, I guess I can part with this ring. I'm not gonna be needing it anymore. I have a more powerful one. And this ring of minor rejuvenation. There, you can have that as well. Thank you. I just wonder, will I be doing more alchemy? Now that I really don't need to. Um, how about these amethysts? I'll let you have five. I'll keep these garnets for now. I think I still need a second flawless uh, sapphire from Medesi. Hmm, look at the sky shards. I think it's time I use them. 
All right, this should do. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me. No. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> now, let's see. Back here is the secret entrance. Here we have the inner workings of the Thieves' Guild. It occurs to me, though, in addition to being trained as a thief, I might also need to be trained on how to be a better vampire. They were a sure thing, I swear. You just better hope this one isn't another waste of my coin. Hello. Come here a second. What do you do around here? If you ever need more practice with the bow and you've got the coin, just grab me. I'm ready to teach you. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do need training in the bow. Do you ever take jobs for the guild? I don't bother with silly pickpocketing jobs when I can make far more at the gambling table. Hmm. So you stole from your friends? No one I cared about. Besides, it's not hard to fit in and make new friends when you have the coin to make it happen. All right, well, can you train me to be better at archery? I'll show you what I know. Well, thank you. It's one of those skills that I've just never picked up. I appreciate the tutelage. I'm sure it's going to come in very handy. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. Very well. You there. It moves, but it does not step. The dust does not stir, and the floor sleeps. Knives is surprised to learn it is not a cat. And what are you talking about? When you're a master of stealth, even the wind envies your gait. Its mouth is much noisier than its feet. One will get it killed far before the other. Your ears are quite sensitive. It is not a Khajiit, so it depends on its eyes. It can only see what's in front, but knives here. Twenty paces to the east, a thief scratches his ears. Fifty paces further, a beggar sighs and counts his coins. Two stories above, a couple says their vows, while underneath in the catacomb, a widow weeps for her husband. The cat hears, the mind knows, minutes before anything is seen. Its eyes can only see the past, but knives' ears know the future. So, are you saying that you have some sort of... Uh preternatural abilities? You sound like you were born for this role. True. They say the Khajiit are born into the guild. Knives thinks he was born an assassin, raised a crown, and adopted by thieves. What do you mean, born an assassin? Knives was the last of a litter of three and slew the one who gave birth to him. From that right. day, his fur was marked with blood. I, hope this I see. I'm putting quite a bit of coin and on how line. were you the marked with blood? The manes of his fathers, his forefathers, they were sure all gray. Only knives flows like a river of blood. Coin. It was an ill omen. A knife's father was a superstitious cat. The very sight of this one 
threw him into a rage. On those nights, with one in the village sand, waiting for the new sun to warm, he was drawn to the back end. The aroma, if he was tired or hungry, he warmed his way through the crowd outside the school. Picking the pockets of those who had one too many. Only one night, he picked the wrong pocket. It belonged to a servant of Sithis. Sithis? Why does that name sound so familiar? So, you picked the pocket of a Dark Brotherhood assassin? Yes. He convinced Knives he was right side up. When in truth, he was upside down. Knives did not know this, because the cat always landed on his feet. And what did he ask of you? To heed the call of the Black Sacrament. And to young Knives, taking a life was no different than stealing a coin. Young Knives was eager to please his mentor, so he killed without remorse. He would have kept killing, if Razir paid him what he was worth. Some say Knives should not have betrayed Razir, but it was Knives who was betrayed first. But why kill him? Well, it was easier for Knives to murder his mentor than to tell him no. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Seems like I could learn a lot from you. Who was this Razir? Razir told this one he was an assassin of the Dark Brotherhood, a remnant of the Corinthi Sanctuary in Elzwir. The Sanctuary had been shut down by the Black Hand, and without a guild or disciple, he said he wished to pass on his knowledge. And what knowledge did Razir provide you? He taught this Khajiit the tools of the trade, mostly how to listen how to find a single sound in a cacophony of noise. A whisper in a tavern, a rattle of a coin purse, a footstep in a crowd. So much information in a single step. And what information does a step provide? The step conveyed where a person was, where he was headed, and how anxious he was to get there. Yet, it was not all Knives was taught. Razir showed this Khajiit how to read, how to charm, and even how to cook. Hmm. Well, it sounds like he wanted the best for you. Yes, there are people in life who will do everything to help one succeed, and those who will use him for their own success. It turns out, these people look exactly the same. Well, tell me, how did you join the Thieves Guild? Knives did not part from his childhood on good terms and was forced to flee. Senchal to the south promised good loot, but the Tenmar Forest is unforgiving to those who are not seasoned warriors. So he went north, roaming the savannas and playing the role Wait. That was when Bandar smiled upon him and granted him another path. Knives found a book labeled Shadow Marks, and it made promises of easy loot. Shadow Marks? Huh. Even its eyes fails it. Has it not noticed the marks carved onto the door frame? The shadow mark allows thieves to speak through time and communicate what lies behind each door. Knives ears can tell them the future, but they cannot hear the past. These shadow marks, they tell him a bit of both. I see. So, did your thieving attract the attention, the attention of the guild? Not so, for a true thief attracts no attention. Knives sought out Delvin and used the shadow marks to guide him. 
There was one mark of great interest to knives. Two circles intersecting a diamond. The mark of the protected. Knives found such a mark on the barrel of a house near Solitude. It belonged to a thane named Ericu. A thane of such importance would have valuables locked in a safe, along with documents that tied him to certain parties. And you weren't deterred by the safe? It was a good omen. While locks ask knives to listen to the dance of tumblers to convince a safe to open, he need only listen for its heartbeat. In fact, knives was almost out the door when his legs felt heavy as bricks. His toes tingled, and soon they lost all feeling. It seems both his ankles had been struck by an ice spike from Eriker's personal wizard. Hmm, yes, ice spikes. One of my favorite spells. How did you manage to escape? The wizard called the guards and woke the thing. There had been reports of a thief in the area, and the guards speculated Knives was the culprit. Knives did not protest. He simply recommended that the Thane first check the contents of the safe before making such a hasty decision. He glanced curiously at the wizard before rushing back upstairs. When he returned, he screamed at the guards to let knives free. This Khajiit is my honored guest, he railed. And if you so much as damage even a whisker, I will have every single one of your heads. The guards released knives and left the residence, shaking their heads. The wizard, confused, turned to his master. I thought the safe was emptied yesterday, he said, to help pay for last night's fed. Not anymore, the thane replied, tossing a gem to the wizard, for our guest has been kind enough to fill it. All right, Delvin. So, what, what did you think of the Golden Glow job? Who do you mean? The honey from Golden Glow is the really secret ingredient to Blackbriar sure, mead. Burning the apiaries was necessary, it the but it will set production rain. back. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, um, so I think that's it. Hopefully, I can... No. Learn a bit more from you in the future. Until next time. Yes. All right, I know, Brynjolf. I need to be off to Markarth. Excuse well, me, excuse what me, coming through. <laughs> and now Sapphire wants to be all friendly. It's off to Markov. Hmm. I felt something, I'm not sure what. Something vampiric. I don't know, I might be hungry again. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. I really don't understand my powers yet, or my limitations. And or my strengths. I know I have a lot to learn. Hopefully I don't get destroyed in the process. Oh.
right. Is that it? No one even tried to stop a beggar from wandering through the, the inn. Alright, it's back to the Thieves Guild. Oh, it is the bloodlust. Alright, I'm gonna have to feed on someone soon. Delvin? Shall be troubling ya. Yeah? I'll listen. Well, no, actually. I've completed the numbers job. This kind of work suits you. But it's gonna end up making you rich. No, oh, thank you. So, have you got something else for me? Bloody good timing. Just got some more clients. Any more numbers jobs? We want to waylay a shipment on the way from this business without them even noticing anything went missing. Want the job? I'll do it. Nice. Yeah, this is what you need to know. Hmm, Angeline's aromatics. In solitude, all right. Let me get there immediately. Oh, what? This way. All right, what time is it? Night. Perfect. <laughs> I need someone to feed on, though. I do feel a bit peckish. Must be upstairs. Easily done. It's funny, she didn't even notice that I entered the building. I'm thinking. Thank you. 
Angeline. Hmm. Thank you so much. Well, this is different. I actually went through her throat. And that was so satisfying. Good night, Angeline. Guard. Dragons breathing fire in the sky. Vampires brazenly attacking people on the street. It's the end of the world, I tell you. Uh oh, vampires. <laughs> I've got a little word. If only you knew, sir. All right. It's back to the Thieves Guild. Hmm, it's a good thing I had that snack. From Angeline. Now, yes, I can't seduce anyone else. That is a shortcoming that I really don't like. So, Excuse me, you're coming Brynjolf's through. New protege, eh? You need to tell <laughs> your boys like to much Delvin. Nice Delvin. Oh, Almost you're back. Yes, I've time. completed the numbers job. You know I Couldn't have done it better myself. Here's your coin. Thank you. So, what else have you got? All right. Why Anything in particular strike your fancy? Run the flagon with me. I like the numbers jobs. Got a personal request from Brynjolf on this numbers job. He says we may hit him hard later, and he wants to prep their books. Help us out. Sure, I'll do it. Finally. Someone with backbone. Here you go. Thank you, Vax. You've always been the most reliable one in the game. Well, what the hell is Mercer hmm, The White Run stables. stables. Have you even talked to him? That shouldn't Mercer be so difficult. Mercer. If he has a plan to get us out of this rock, <laughs> then he isn't sharing it with me. 